Yes, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. Yeah, Way up. And it is time for Tell Us a Secret. Now, behind the scenes. It's your favorite time. Yours, too. <laughs> Let's be clear. Mano and I were looking at the Basketball Wives trailers for both Orlando and um, yeah. the original Basketball Wives. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. So, and just as a, a heads up, Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives will be co-hosting with us. On Monday, just putting that that out there. That where's, is a where's secret. Where's Jasmine gonna be? Um, she's coming on Tuesday. Okay. All right. So Jennifer will be here on Monday. That's a secret. But we want to hear your secrets. All right. Eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty is a number. Call us up and share with us, Mano. I need you to relax. I'm good. <sighs> Say, I'm do good. do this I'm with good. me. I'm straight. You know, do this with me. Come on. In and out. Do this with me. <sighs> Yeah, you know, woosa. You know, I'm straight. Okay. Call us up. We're nice and calm. Yeah. 800 292 5150 is no judgment. Hello, Anonymous Caller. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. It's me, Amino, and we are ready to not judge you and hear your secret. Well, this is my secret right here. Um, this girl I was fooling with for four years uh, allowed her daughter to steal a lot of things from it. Like forty some thousand bucks and all this, and it came out that it was her and her daughter. So I called a job and got a got a fire because I know she smoked weed. She was a department manager too. She smoked weed and you know pop X pills. I said, get the cup, get the cup on her right now. So and you damn, she lost her job. So you snitched. But he, they did steal right, forty thousand. Right, it's a different. No, 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 man, no, it's a different What's between up? snitching and telling, homie. Okay. It is. What I'm supposed to do? Chop her head off? Or I'm gonna go to jail. I got now, to get even some kind of way. I'm not mad. Okay. That's a revenge thing. He's she, the, her. Her daughter stole forty thousand dollars. How it's did for, they steal the forty thousand? It was forty two thousand. She, she, her daughter had a key while I was working out of state, so I drive a truck. So when I get back in town, all the money go. I'm like, who been here? Nobody. Her daughter had a key the whole time I'm on the road. When I get back, her daughter would disappear. <laughs> So when I got back, they made it like somebody tried to break the door open, but nobody broke the door open. That's great. So, so, so all she did was lose her job. All she did, she, she needs to lose more than all her job. Well, they, they got forty two thousand. She probably didn't even care. She like that's like my whole salary. Yeah, that was her whole year salary. Yeah, but she make a hundred five thousand a year, so oh, I feel like okay. I oh, okay. You know what? It yeah, ain't like I'm he turned her in to get her locked up. He just made her lose her job. I ain't trying to get her locked up. Yeah. I ain't trying to get her locked up. I try to get her knocked off. Knocked off. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this. Do you do you think that she ever really loved you, or you think she was just setting you up the whole time? Nah, she ain't love me. She ain't love me. She set up for the alley the whole time. Wow, that's grimy. Yeah. You got to do something else, though. I feel like that ain't enough. It may know. It ain't enough. It ain't enough, bro. I know it ain't enough. We got to figure something else out. We got to devise another no, scheme. No, that's not going to get his money back. It's okay? right, but that's it's going to get your yeah, money back. Gotta he got to get his lick back, back, though. Just just losing her job is not enough. I feel like no, the daughter's responsible he just too. Lost it too yesterday. Like I, it ain't enough. Oh, yeah, that ain't enough. I wouldn't be yeah, satisfied with enough. that, bro. Okay, guys, this was just tell us a secret, not devise a plan together. Yeah. Okay, that's no, another something. Devise, no, you gotta, gotta be gotta something devise, real no really witty, today. really, really creative. All right, well Man, I got it. All right, well, we'll let your co-defendant uh, talk to you offline, all right? <laughs> all right. Thank you, anonymous caller. Hey, Anonymous Caller, how are you? I am fine. How are you doing? I'm good, Mayno. See, I could tell he liked you already, so he won't judge you. Uh, we're ready for your secret. Well, I met a, um, I own a business. I met a guy about three years ago, and I kind of persuaded him to get into my class uh, because I knew I wanted to date him. So, like, it's been two years now, and we've been dating, but nobody knows in our business. What type of class? A business credit. He wanted to start his own business, so I knew nice. his credit score and how much money he made off the top. So I was like, "Yes." <laughs> so y'all still dating now? <laughs> yeah, we still dating now. We even got our own condo. So when oh. I come to town, I don't. We stay at the condo. So who is it a secret from the world? Everybody. What? Nobody really knows. They just think he's a client. What about your they family? They don't even know I stay there. Well, my family, they don't know, you know, they just think it's somebody I hang out with because I do hang out with guys, but mm -hmm. like that, you know, especially my business partners or so to speak, but they definitely don't think we're dating. You think that you'll ever go public? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're making plans right now on how we're going to do it. All right, it sounds like a good love story. 
I get. Is that the so only? It's a good secret. Is, I, I like it because we got to be friends and nobody knows. So definitely, people can interfere and shit. I is, mean, stuff. is that <laughs> is that the only man you sleeping with currently? Oh yes, definitely. She's oh, very yes. she's very into him. Okay. Nice. She I like that. I like that for yeah. you. Yeah, she devised this whole scheme to even get nice. with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I had to make sure he was my type of person first. Okay. So I got him into the business world. Did right. you ever tell him that you did this purposely or he doesn't even know? Yeah, I told him that. He thought, And the funny thing was, he was like, yeah, my, my girlfriend said I just didn't want to build a business either. That she was the type of girl I like. <laughs> I thought that's how we was. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, look, I can't wait till y'all go public with your love. I can't either. Thank y'all for letting me share my secrets. Of course. Sometimes sneaking around is fun for a little while. I like to sneak around, yeah. period. Hey, Anonymous Caller, how are well, you? All right, how are you? Are you? I'm good. Mano's here. Hey, Mano. What's happening? Uh, what's your secret? My secret is I was I was uh, at a neighbor's house party, and uh, my, my stuff fell out my pants. What stuff? Yeah, what stuff fell out of your pants? Uh, 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 I'm a male. Why would you call up here with that? Like, you, you think we wanted to hear that? You think <laughs> we wanted but, to hear but, that? It, we don't it, want to hear that. It, it, it's a secret. It's but, a secret. We, I didn't but, tell my wife. We don't. You didn't tell your wife. <laughs> what do you mean it fell no, out of your pants? You got it. No. What does that mean? It, I was dancing and my stuff came out of my pants, out my zipper, because oh. I had used the restroom. And you must have been dancing hard up. as hell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you jumping free. up and down. And you pop- I, just, I just forgot to zip my zip. No, up. and you forgot to wear them drawers that day. You was free balling. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Now, it, what it, happened after it fell out? Uh, the music stopped. Mm-hmm. And everybody was looking. And then, the, then, then I zipped my pants back up. Then the music started. And the girls was just like, and coming on to me and trying to dance. Okay, you know, now. All you know right what, now. bro? I don't know about this. We, yeah, we, we need more people. Um, <laughs> sh- chill out. You know, God bless you. And Jesus I'm love you. Serious. That was just a secret that, you know what I'm saying, I wanted to get out. You know? Right, right. Was it? Was it? Was it? kind of crazy that then my neighbor, I have to see him every day. He sound like he's a, still, you it's know fantasy. What I'm <laughs> it's a fantasy. He's still, he's still maybe, tripping. Maybe this you know, was a like, dream and you didn't realize it. It must have been real no, little no, no, to no, just no, fall no, out like that. This guy's crazy. That's it. It was just crazy. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Well, you, thank you for sharing. Yep. God right. bless you. Don't don't let your stuff fall out. I'm good. Thank you. You want to tell us a secret? Yeah. I've never told anybody. Okay. But I had an affair with a married man. Ooh. Okay. Nice. You gotta li- <laughs> you gotta live a little bit. How did you end well, it? Well, his wife passed away. Oh. I, this is someone I knew all my life. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess it was maybe 10 years ago. We ran into each other. We started hanging out. It wouldn't be unusual to see us in public because people knew we knew each other all our lives. <clears throat> but we went years without seeing each other because we worked in different states. We went to different colleges. So then we ended up in the same state. Okay. <clears throat> and um, it lasted for on and off for like 10 years. Wow, 10 years. Just whenever you guys ran into each other, it was a hookup. No, no, we planned it. Back to okay. affairs are. <laughs> you got to plan it. <laughs> and so his but wife, his wife funny. never found out. Well, no, but I wasn't his first rodeo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this was his thing. He was a cheater. Yeah, but I'm not. And I can't forgive myself. You shouldn't be that hard on yourself. Sometimes just, you know, it, you did what you <laughs> felt like doing at the time. It's okay. And hope. hopefully you learned from it. Yeah. I think a lot of things in our life, you know, we've that's the point of tell us a secret. There might be things that we're not that proud of that we've done, but you learn from it. Right. You should be able to cheat every now and then. Okay, that's just I don't know life. about that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, well, the thing of it is, it's also emotional connection. Mm-hmm. If someone right. has known you since you were a kid, you've known them. Our families knew each other. But y'all, y'all probably needed to get that sexual tension out. Sometimes you just got to do it. Well, well, I didn't actually have intercourse with 
Oh, then you ain't do nothing then. What you so feel so bad about oh, that? Yeah. That wasn't an affair. If you don't have sex, then it's not an affair. <laughs> we there were Rules. there were adult acts that were performed. Okay. Oh, they oh, performed. Okay. Perform. You say perform. Ooh, All right. Well, okay. listen. You learn from it. You wouldn't do it again, right? Never. Okay. All right. Well, lesson learned. Thank you for sharing. Way up.